Good morning, everybody. As always, thanks for stopping by and hanging out at the channel for a few. My name is Rich. I'm the channel host. And normally we're talking about drones, building your small and medium drone business, all the equipment and all the software that goes into our overall business. Now, today I want to be a little nostalgic. I keep getting the question often from people, you know, how do I get my foot in the door? You know, I would like to do drone construction work. I'd like to do progression work. So I get those questions a lot. And quite honestly, you know, when I started out uh, back in 2017 uh, with my first Mavic, the original Mavic Pro, I went out and I just practiced. So my first thought was not, you know, getting a lot of clients in or anything. I needed to do a learning curve. I needed to, you know, get to where I wanted to be so I could showcase things to people. So, you know, I get the question all the time, should, you know, should we email them, door knock, phone calls? Well, how about just slowing down and starting to put together a portfolio? And as you develop that portfolio and share it online, whether it's a website or Instagram or Facebook, the platforms that you use that you've got to outreach to, um, no matter uh, which platform it is, go ahead and start sharing what you're doing. And as you start sharing that, people are going to come across it. So like I said, I started doing this at end of 2017. I think it was September is when I got my part 107 and we started doing things like signing up with air data, learning about PIX4D, um, learning about Metashape or drone deploy, you know, all these companies were coming up to help uh, drone operators do some really amazing things, not just, uh, not just construction but agriculture, architecture, um, you know, there's so many things that we can do with drones at this point, it's amazing. Uh, anything outdoors, maybe a drone comes in. But so what I started doing in 2017, because I was very interested in maps and models, was I started playing with some of the applications and practicing. Fortunately for me, I had a location that was a new construction area. So every weekend I'd go over there and do some practicing, mostly autonomous flight with Ground Station Pro, uh, Map Pilot Pro, and um, let me see, was there, oh yeah, of course, Litchi. So I wanna show you, we're being nostalgic now, um, and let's go ahead, and I'm just changing one thing really quick. And let's go to the full screen. So get me out of the picture. And now you can see fully what we're looking at on screen. So this is the Metashape. Uh, this was Metashape Pro. And I actually think I used plain old Metashape. And what I did was I went over to the construction site and I was curious beyond utilizing some of the uh, mapping capture applications like Pix4D or MapPilot Pro. Um, I said to myself, what can we do with Litchi and just do an orbit with Litchi? So what I'm going to do here, I just want you to see, um, I was, like I said, I was getting nostalgic over the weekend. And so I went and pulled up some of my old files. And so this is from, uh, let me see here, 2019. So this was a practice flight, of course. And I'm just going to grab some of them to give you an idea of what we did. And let's go ahead and open with preview, shall we? All right, so in the preview window, we can see, let's, let's bring this out all the way for you. So here is my starting image, and all that I did with uh, Litchi was I made an orbit path. So just circling the uh, objects that I wanted to get. So very simple and very easy to set up a, Lit a Litchi orbit path. Just takes a couple of minutes. And as you see, we've got two homes under construction. And actually, we lived off in the distance out there to the south previously. So it was really convenient to come in here. But as you can see, I'm just doing a simple orbit of the... Um, of the home. So I'm making sure that there's enough overlap. And you've got to keep in mind uh, the overlap for doing really nice 3D models. The more overlap you have, most likely the better this is going to look. So after I captured these images, I loaded them into either Metashape Pro or um, uh, plain old Metashape at the time. And so we uploaded 100 images, right? And you can see all the images down here at the bottom in uh, in Metashape. And then I zoom this back out and there are those two houses. So right now, let's go ahead and just tilt this in. 
Once again, this was done really quickly just with a Litchi Orbit, okay? And let's just look around this. It did a really nice job given the fact that, you know, I set this up in mere moments and I didn't have the greatest overlap and I could have spent a little more time on this to, you know, make a much cooler model as well. So right now we're just taking a look through and let me pull this back out in Metashape and I'm just going to go up here to the cameras and you're going to see all of the overlapped images that I made. So I did two passes with this and so just two very simple orbits and we changed how close the, uh, the uh, photos were um, from the first one to the second one and then we were also depending on some of the overlap between the two. But in the end, this came out very nicely. So this was something I put up on my portfolio um, for azdrone.net, just so that people could get an idea of the types of work that we were working into doing. And it worked out for me. So I didn't do any door knocking or phone calls or anything like that. Instead, we just started putting our presentation together and we started working on our website, getting it noticed in the area. Now, the uh, two of our bigger clients who started in with us in 2019, both of them, I asked them and I said, how did you find us? And both of them said, we found you on your website and you were the only drone website in the Yavapai County area that was doing things like this that we wanted to do. All the other ones were just um, real estate and simpler stuff. And I was the only one giving them, you know, giving them something extra. Hey, this is what we do and we'd like to do it for you. So you can go out and do all that door knocking and stuff, but you still need to have a portfolio. If you're trying to get in with someone and you don't have something to share with them, um, the conversation's not going to go on very long. So you need to start building that portfolio and building that portfolio, not with the intent of, oh, next week I'm going to be found. This is a process, guys. So this takes time. Um, you could, you know, buy some Google AdWords and, you know, have them refer, uh, have them refer clients to you that way, but that can get expensive really fast. So if you're doing this organically and on your own, you're going to want to start experimenting with these things, and then you're going to want to share those experiments. So I was really, you know, I was tickled to find this one. I've got, I still have all of our original flights. Um, I don't delete those things. So, I, you know, I can go back and find things from 2017 when I was just really starting this. But whenever I have the opportunity, if there's a good location, um, you know, a new build site and, you know, we could fly it. I'd recommend going out and doing it. Sundays are great days to fly these sites because nine times out of ten, um, there's nobody on the site, there's no work going on, there's no hard hat folks in the way or anything, so you can actually experiment a lot more. So let's see here, what else did I want to show in here? I think that that was probably about it. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and go back to this one. All right. So I just wanted to keep this one short and quick, but if you're wondering, you know, how am I getting found? It's the, uh, it's the building that we do online, both with our YouTube channel and with our website. So that's how people are finding us. And they're also looking for very specific things. You know, when these construction groups approach you, they've already got some ideas in their heads and you need to sit down and have a conversation with them about what they'd like to do. And then as you're building out your job sites for them, you can offer additional services because they're gonna love what you're doing and they're gonna want to expand what they're doing with you. All right, everybody, just a short one, some uh, drone modeling nostalgia and um, some thoughts for you when you're asking me, hey, you know, how do we get noticed, recognized, and hired? So go ahead and think on this and think about the next uh, construction site that you can go have a little fun with. We'll see you again in the near future, and I hope you're doing well.